there, I hope you're doing very well. If you've been following me for a decent amount of time, you may know that um, a few months ago I designed a herbology mark. Just in start.io, after I finished that I was like, oh it'd be really fun to build that in real life. Yes, that would have been really fun, but also I designed it so massive that it was kind of impossible and it cost me so much money to get all the pieces. So kind of halfway through randomly collecting some bits, I was like, I think this is gonna cost me five million pounds. So maybe I should like see how much I have and then downscale the model. So what I've done is I've taken my original herbology mock and I've kind of, I started building it in real life and kind of seeing what bits I had and how I could make it look like the herbology greenhouse, but by scaling it down, which is what I've now done and it's pretty much complete. And I'm really, really excited to show, share it with you. Now, without further ado, let me show you. Yes! There it is. But honestly, I'm really, really, really happy with it. So I designed it so it could open and you can see inside, as well as having removable fronts, like this. So you can kind of play with it a little bit more, but it's also a nice display piece without it. So that should really make it really easy to kind of play with. Inside, I kind of just made the interiors that I kind of roughly could do from the bit bricks I owned. If you have really sharp eyes, you probably will be able to tell in my close-up shots as well that I'm missing a few bricks still. I'm still missing the like pyramidy things for on top of here. I still need six of that, and one of the hinges is um, grey instead of white. Basically, I was very focused on just making this with the bricks that I had, and I'm honestly really, really happy with it. I think it looks really good. I. It's the first time that I've built something that I've designed in real life and honestly it's like such a good feeling because like it's one thing and it's really fun to build them in Leo, but once you have the bricks and start putting it together you get like really familiar with it. It was such fun. It does cost a bit of money if you need to get all the bricks like myself but it's so so worth it. I did originally have more detail in like the greenery in here but when I was building, I was kind of building with what I had so I kind of just inserted what I happened to have lying around. And then like a true professional, my camera cut out because it wasn't charged and my second battery also wasn't charged. Profesh. <laughs> so, uh, half an hour later, hi, <laughs> welcome back to the video. So I think I was talking about this wonderful thing. All the windows were purchased specially for this. Swear to God, broke bank. But I think for building my first mock in real life, it was a really, really good experience. I really, really loved it. Also, like it did not disappoint actually having it in my hands and just seeing it, it's so satisfying. All in all, I, could, I can highly recommend the experience of designing and then building your own mock. It's great, it's costly if you haven't got a large brick selection, but it's so, so much fun. And yes, so if you're interested in um, instructions for this, I will do my best to create them and upload them. Who knows, maybe by the time I upload this video, no idea when I'm going to be uploading this video anyway, so <laughs> that's on its way. Yeah, let me know what you think. What's your favorite mock you've ever made and built? Let's have a chat in the comments. Thank you so very much for giving me your time and watching this video. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Again, I'm trying to get into the habit of saying that because I should, but it feels a bit weird to me still. Yes, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you so very much. Bye.